there are two groups of people walking the earth. Right? You got you got one group right now. Now, both groups have these dreams and these goals. Both groups from the time that they were young saw things on television, read things in books, they physically saw people doing things, and it was like, yo, I want to do that. So, so what I want you to do for me is I want you to, and I know a lot of you are adults and you, you got, you're, doing, you're adulting, and, and sometimes you don't have time for dreams and goals and stuff, right? But I want you to do me a favor, like don't let life do you like that. Like don't let life put you in a circumstance or a situation where you stop dreaming. Like don't let life put you in a situation where you are helping somebody else make their dreams become a reality that you forgot you have your, your own. Like don't, don't do that. Don't, don't get so caught up giving some job 30, 40, 50, 60 hours of your day that you don't have any time left for yourself. And so do me a favor, I don't, I don't want reality right now. I'm not interested in how much your student loans are. I'm not interested. Because your student loans are sucking your dream. I'm not interested right now. And I got a divorce and right now I just can't. I'm not, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Eric, I lost a child and you don't know what it's like to. I'm not, I'm not interested in your reality right now. I, I, I want you to get back to your dreams. I want you to get back to your goals because no matter what has happened in life, you got another 30 years, another 40 years, another 50 years, like you can't get stuck on, like you can't let that thing that devastated you in 1989, the thing that devastated you in uh, 1996, 2001, like you can't wake up every day to 2001. 2001 was a tragedy, yes it was, but you can't stay there. Look, look, I want you to look at your goals and I want you to ask yourself this question. Do you know what it takes to make that happen? Like, do you, like, like, literally, like, because this is all it's going to take. Three things, this is all it's going to take. Do you know what it takes? And you guys have an advantage because you've been at this conference, I think, three days. you got a whole bunch of information. Look, the only thing it takes to go from where I went to, a homeless, high school dropout, sleeping in the abandoned buildings, eating out of trash cans, I went from being a high school dropout, getting a GED to having a PhD. Listen to me, the only thing it takes is knowing what it takes. So one day I woke up and was like, okay, E, stop talking about what you don't have. You need to know what you don't know so you can get to where you're trying to get to. So being successful is not who you are, it's what you know. So I need to get a different relationship to knowledge. So I'm hyped, but I did not come here just so you can get pumped up or get hyped. You have been given information. You are, you are this close to making every dream you wrote down happen. Why? Because you have been taught by the best of the best. You have been taught by the best of the best. You've been taught by people who've been doing this for years. You've been taught by people who love you and care for you. People who are giving you information that you're not going to get randomly on your own. And so you are this close to your dreams and goals. So I, I have to ask you the question. You have the information. Now what are you going to do with it? You, you were born. You were born with greatness in you. How long are you going to give me excuses? And this person didn't do that. And this person. I'm a high school dropout, slept in the bandit bills, ate out of trash can. We go tip for that. How long you want to talk about that? When we gonna start talking about traveling the world? When we gonna talk about realizing your potential and waking up every day and giving me 120 percent? So I need you to do me a favor. I need your whys. This is what I want you to do for me. I want you to wake up. I want your whys. If you can put them on your phone, you can get the face printed out, put them in the car. I need you to smell your family members every day, three times a day. I need you to touch them some type of way, three times a day. Listen, I need you to see them three times a day. I need you to put their voice, like record their voice. And when you go to work and you feel like not working, push play. Push play. And just hear them say, mama, I need you.
Stop saying, Daddy, I need you, Dad. Stop ask the baby girl, say, Daddy, I need you to give 120% because my future is counting on your pre pre predicated by your presence.